hello everyone out there so i'm back with a new and exciting video over here again and we will see how we can replace the existing sink with a new sink that we needed without further ado let's jump back to the video so here you can see i have my existing plan with our cabinets walls and uh, we we actually uh, we see uh, in uh, just we can place a countertop here so add a new top click and countertop will be placed so on on this countertop i'll show you first that how we can place a sink from the existing library that is a standard sink and then we will see how we can replace it with a new uh, sink which can be found in a, a 3D warehouse of SketchUp and we can import that SketchUp model in our uh, this file. Okay, so in this library we have a pre-existing drop-in sink so we can just drag those and on that uh, countertop and we can adjust its uh, position, depth, height, width so just changing it uh see so height 450 depth 450 and it is outset to 50 i guess yeah but it it is uh much out from the wall so we will we can reduce its outset. So in this way, actually we can position the existing sink, right? So that we can generate the cutouts in the countertop and it, it, it will look good. So this is the way uh, we can adjust the position of the sink, okay? Its elevation, its outset from the wall, and uh, we can ch check the layers uh, if you go in a top and we see see uh, the sink is placed uh, we need to just right click that top and regenerate it then uh, the cutouts will be shown it's already offset so we can just we will move this sink uh, to have a proper position okay So clearance from the left wall, 50. Now it, it looks good, right? At the correct position. We can position as we need, uh, as per our uh, requirement. Uh, that suits our design. So, but uh, uh, here uh, we, uh, we will delete this uh, cabinet and we will uh, drop us a new sink uh, cabinet there see base sink cabinet because uh, it, the sink cabinet should have a rear stretcher and front stretcher is not needed because already we have a countertop on that and uh, uh, unnecessary uh, it can hinder the uh, placement of that sink so we will just delete this existing one and drop a new sink cabinet and we will reposition it uh, whenever we enter a value in a width and press enter, it asks us to from which side you want to increase it from both sides, from left or right, like that. So we have this uh, new uh, cabinet and our sink. Uh, let's see, we can go in job parameters by selecting that cabinet and place 100 in the a back stretcher and we will have our stretcher on see our stretcher is there we can see in 3d so if we just go in layers and switch off the countertops uh, we will you can uh, we can see there our back stretcher is on right that is the back stretcher 
uh, and front stretcher we don't need front stretcher on the sink cabinets so our sink uh, appliance can be fitted uh, easily there so we will we will have uh, enough space to uh, install that sink right so this is the way we can place the sink uh, we select this uh, sink again uh, we will delete it and now we will download a 3d sketchup file for uh, another sink uh, uh, so suppose i need uh, one one and half ball sinks a model that i want to use as a sink in our uh, mosaic file so we can just search on the internet that one and a half sink SketchUp model and in warehouse we can easily have some model so we will just download it uh, in any format uh, so after downloading the main step begins here that uh, we should open this file in SketchUp I'll show you that we can just open the file that we have just downloaded uh, okay this one and we should place the top portion at the origin so we can just switch to camera parallel projection and we can just move uh yeah we can move that to the near to the origin so uh because uh, that is the top portion that we need to be placed on the countertop so we can just select everything and move near to the origin and snap to the origin that will be perfect yeah and after doing this we should save it we should save it as a sketchup 8 model okay because uh, th that version is supported by the mosaic in if we want to import anything any sketchup 3d model in mosaic so we should we can just rename it uh, you can rename it sync one and half and just save it as a sketchup 8 file i'll exit this and now we have our the file uh, that can be yeah this is the file that we saved and we will just copy that and placed in a mosaic product libraries okay in this uh, library 12 we will place this so just copy this this is the model that we saved it as a sketchup 8 format okay copy it and placed it in a uh, yeah mosaic product libraries admit 11 12 and in products here okay now that's it now we can import this 3d model in our mosaic easily so just uh, we go in a library then products uh, then we will select our library which is uh, 12 yeah library 12 and we can go to the sinks drop in uh, yeah, below SketchUp model sinks, drop in sinks. You can just expand by clicking the plus and we should add, uh, right click this and we will add our new product. Yeah, this product and just name it uh, as one and half ball sink something. So I'll rename it as one and half ball sink okay and click okay click okay okay we can import it the 3d model later now we have this we can give the description of this as per we will keep it simple one and half ball sink okay and we can 
the important thing is we should have this type as an appliance here and we can choose single double or others out of this because this is a sink appliance the type should be appliance that is uh, most important and we can choose uh, yeah that and we can have its width thousand we can edit the height we can edit the depth here uh, height we can keep 450 or 300 okay anything as per the size you wish to have in our design in our multiples drawings we can make it all the important thing here is the go in a info tab and click on this use sketchup model and browse now we will browse to the file uh, where we have saved this in a library 12 products so we will just choose that file sync one and half and remember this file should always be in sketchup 8 format okay see now after importing it shows in a preview and we can snap it to the countertop that's very important now we are all finished with the settings we can just save the changes click ok and if we see in our library now library 12 and we can just scroll down and we can just scroll down and see here in seeing yeah we have this and now we can just drag it on the countertops and it will be there is placed and we can position it now we can give some clearance outset from the rear wall okay so we should position it first so it will look better and uh, we can check the plan it see it fits on the countertop uh, again we will see so outset should be it's going beyond that rear stretcher so we will just play with these values to have a proper looking its proper placement of the sink so we will go in top there top stab and we can just right click and regenerate the cutouts our cutouts will be regenerated see for the sink and if we see it's 3d we can see how it is placed it's looking nice right so this is the simple procedure to place our sinks we can import any sketchup model uh, in this way as a plans in our thank you like this video please subscribe press the bell icon to get the instant notifications of the upload i'll keep upload trainings tutorials videos for the cat packages so keep watching stay tuned thank you